Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Lasha's Homestead, guys. I am up early in the morning. I'm up with the birds, as you can hear. <laughs> but we need to come out and take care of some much needed garden chores. Well, really, not really garden chores, but I need to do some maintenance, okay? We had a pretty bad storm, so we have limbs and things that's kind of knocked down around in the yard. And then I want to finally go ahead and plant any seeds that I need to plant. Um, out here okay because i am the master procrastinator when it comes to this garden so i need to take care of that and then later on this evening i need to figure out how i'm going to protect our watermelon okay from the predators the garden predators so i need to try to figure out some type of contraption to put around them i'm looking at them now and i would just be devastated if i come out here and something have gnawed into my watermelon and i know if I don't get them covered, that's what's gonna eventually happen. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just looking around just to kind of spot anything. Guys, I see one bee. We need some flowers that are going to bring the pollinators to the garden. I don't have many pollinators and that sucks. Um, I noticed I purchased some zinnias. The zinnias are pulling in butterflies but I need some bees. I want a mixture of pollinators. Um, the butterflies are not really doing it for pollinating our uh, vegetables. So I want to go to the garden center to see if I can find anything that will bring the pollinators in. But let me stop rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and get started so we can be out here. I don't wanna be out here longer than maybe an hour, an hour top. But let's go ahead and get started, guys. Guys, I went and I picked up my debris bag and what do you know, there's a toad in there. <laughs> I'm going to put it in our um, bed over here. Uh, come on out, buddy. Ooh, just don't come out on me. All I ask. Where you at? There it is. You guys probably can't see it. It's like camouflaged in. <laughs> Okay guys, I went in the shed because I have so much to do, but I also need to water the yard. Well, water the vegetables over here before I get started. But I found my old Orbit uh, watering sprinkler here. <laughs> so I'm gonna plug it up. I hope it still works. I hope there's like no defects or anything. I don't see why it wouldn't work, but I'm gonna plug this up so that it can water this area. I'm gonna figure out which lever to put it on but I'm gonna plug this baby up and see if it works. That way I can focus on doing other garden chores and not have to worry about watering the yard because that takes about 30 minutes to an hour every single day. So um, let me go ahead and get this hooked up. <laughs> okay, I don't remember how to use this. Guys, I have absolutely no idea how to work this. I seen it coming towards the camera and I was like, oh no. I have no idea. I don't remember how to use this. I don't know if this bottom part is like a timer or what. It's been that long, guys. Um, I want to get it changed off of this setting here. Oh, okay, look. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's try this one here. Okay, let's try that setting and see how that works. I may have to get wet playing with the settings. Ah, it's gonna hit the camera. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
okay, it needs to be lower. That's, that's my thing. This was for us to water the grass. Okay, now you about to hit me. And let me just turn it on. Oh, okay, I think the bottom part is how far you want it to rotate. Uh, like if it's 360, 180. But the thing is, I need it to be flatter towards the bottom. And it's not doing what I want it to do. Maybe if I turn the water pressure off a little bit more, it'll be in the yard. It'll be lower. Okay, let me turn it on just a tad bit. Okay, that's not helping at all. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, that is not doing the job. <sighs> Darn. My husband said we have another one out here that may work. So I have it on. I need, it's on large, medium. Okay, let's do small and see if small work. Guys, y'all see me out here struggling, but this is what goes on, guys. This is what goes on. It ain't pretty all the time. Okay, that say small. I'm assuming that's for a small area. But it's not. Woo! Oh, that water feels good. Okay, that just. But it's not for the area in the garden bed. Maybe if I turn down the pressure a little bit. Turn it down. It looks like it's about to hit the camera again, y'all. My glasses didn't got wet. Okay. I'm going to let it do what it do. And I'm just going to water these zinnias before the sun comes up. And uh, y'all bought these zinnias last week. Woo, getting wet again. Um, and I came out here yesterday and they were all shriveled over. And I said, Lord, please, I hope when I water them, they stand back up because this garden center does not give any type of refunds. I watered them earlier that day, but I guess it got too hot for them. I'm gonna have to water them at least three times a day now. <sighs> okay, so let's let that do its thing and let's go on the other side and um, pick up some debris. <laughs> oh guys, it's a struggle, okay? The struggle, I hope that water don't mess up my sunscreen, y'all. It's a struggle out here in the yard, okay? A struggle. Oh y'all, where's my debris bag at? Ah, oh, good. Struggling out here this morning, but hey, we're gonna get it done. Oh goodness, y'all, we need a chainsaw to get up there and get the remainder. We may have to pay someone to get the rest of those dead limbs off that tree. I would hate to be back here working and one fall on me. Whew. I'm just gonna. Try to break this and put it in the bag. This is why I like the large debris bag. Because I'm able to get bigger things up out of the garden. But when I'm doing just regular maintenance around the yard, this bag's just too big to be carrying around. Which is why I often refer to just a, a garden bucket. Lordy. These sticks up out of the yard. Ooh. 
guys. I'm gonna need some type of drip irrigation set up or an automatic timer or something when I'm on vacation. So that my plants and stuff won't die. We're gonna go on vacation. So I need to figure something out before we leave. I didn't want to set up a drip irrigation system until next year because I still feel like I'm still a beginner gardener. So I'm still trying to figure out the areas and things of that nature of where I want to plant things. But I need something else because I feel like my hour in the morning could be more productive than taking an hour to water the garden in the morning and in the afternoon. I feel like I can be doing much more with that time and I'm all about efficiency. So I really need to figure out something. I'll tell you one thing we need to figure out is these darn ants, baby, they are relentless. They are relentless. Whoo, guys, I'm already sweating. Okay, let's take this out. Oh my goodness, all righty, guys. <clears throat> So we have heavy trash pickup, <laughs> which is why we were cutting down a lot of the limbs. But heavy trash comes and picks up once a month here. So they're going to be picking up this week. So they ask all the residents go ahead and put any large tree, tree waste in the ditches. And they go ahead and pick them up. Oh, look at this, guys. We have a guest. Hello, Fido and JJ. What's up, JJ? Hello, Fido. Hey, Fido, Fido. Alrighty, guys. So we are over here on the trellis with the pole beans. I'm just gonna go ahead and get them pulled up. This has been in the ground for about two months and they have not produced. They've been growing but they haven't been producing like I want them to produce. So I'm going to go ahead and get them pulled up. I believe we got maybe a few off of the trellis, but I'm a proponent of if it's not doing what it's supposed to do, get it out of here. So I'm just pulling these off of the trellis and we can put something else on this trellis to grow and be more productive. I'm not sure yet if I'm a fan of the pole beans. I am a fan of the bush beans, but I'm still keeping a verdict out. Like here's one. <laughs> this is the Monte Gusto guys. And the Monte Gusto bean is actually pretty good, but it's just not producing enough. So maybe we can grow it in another area, but back here, I think this area, this is a part shade area. So it gets less than six hours of sun. And I don't think the beans like it back here. So I'm just gonna take these off and I will possibly put some um, peas back here. Maybe I'll go and look and see what kind of peas I have. Maybe one that's pretty uh, heat tolerant and I'll grow some peas back here. <clears throat> so let's get this cleaned off guys if it's not serving you go ahead and take it out no use in holding on trying to make it be something that it's not that's one thing about being a new gardener guys you got to pay attention to your garden and see where things like to grow now we grew pole beans along in this bed where the watermelon is last year and they did an amazing job an amazing job in that area so maybe i'll throw some Kentucky Wonder over there and just put a uh, tomato cage and let it grow around the tomato cage. <clears throat> but we're gonna put some beans, some uh, peas back here since this is a part shade, part shaded area. Uh-oh, stepping on my, my watermelon. Ooh, look at this soil, guys. This soil is so rich back here. Woo! Guys, I've been taking care of this soil for a few years now but look at it oh my goodness I'm so proud of that goodness that is amazing <sighs> that is amazing 
so let me get all these tags pulled up got the tags pulled up i'll save those tags all right so we got this area cleaned up perfect on on to the next Okay guys, let's get these tomatoes watered. I have been watering these twice a day since I put them in the ground and they are doing really good. Really, really good. Just get them watered in and we'll be done quick and easy. The sprinkler is not reaching back here. So I had to come back here and get them watered. All right, perfect. We getting these chores done. Whew. All righty guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get this bed fertilized because it's time to fertilize our vegetables. I'm just using the Job's Organics uh, tomato and vegetable fertilizer. And I went ahead and picked this one because the NPK on it is 253. Once my vegetables start to set off fruit or veggies, I go ahead and use a fertilizer with a higher <clears throat> phosphorus, uh, a higher phosphorus number. So it's uh, two nitrogen, five phosphorus and three potassium. So let me go ahead and get this around in the bed now. stop right where the camera is okay let's do that let me back it up some more all right this area is getting watered it is hitting the house but that's okay oh baby y'all see the struggle early this morning okay Whew. Okay, let me just take a sit down, guys. <sighs> I need to take a water break. <sighs> it's 8.15, y'all. 8.15, I've been out here for about an hour now. <sighs> it's coming all on the porch. I'm not gonna be able to blow the porch because the porch is wet now. So I'm just going to have to let that dry. Maybe I'll come out here in the afternoon and blow the porch. I do want to take down these decorations. <sighs> Lordy, I'm, first thing, I'm trying to figure out what else do I need to do out here. I don't want to do nothing else, so that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me here on Lodge's Homestead, guys. You guys have a great day because I'm tired. That's all I got for the morning. They're not getting nothing else. That's an hour of work. And I've been struggling with that doggone sprinkler. So that's all I got today. That's all I can give to this garden. And I'm through. Have a good day, guys. Bye.